Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond 4 Solo Queue. I finally got everything set up again. We have in-game sound, hopefully. We have a webcam now and I'm back in Germany as you can see in the background. This is my flat in Germany. So uh, hopefully everything... Oh, hello. Nice, so far so good. Okay. Okay, I take it. I can't get a good buy here, but um, but Z got a kill. So I cannot buy a potion, obviously, because I got corrupting potion. Yesterday, I analyzed a game of a silver four misfortune player uh, who played the Emacs Arcane Comet misfortune with this exact rune page: Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm with Cheap Shot and Ultimate Hunter. It's a fine rune page. I used it a number of times already throughout uh, season 8, predominantly, and well, he made the mistake of not starting Corrupting Potion, so he could not re oh, he wants to start red buff after all. So, um, yeah, you re don't really have the mana to spam E in lane, but I am now here to show you how it can be played, so maybe this is an additional source of inspiration for you. And oof, we already lost lane priority hard because we needed to leash and they didn't. We might even lose this minion in experience. Yeah, this is extremely bad. So we definitely don't get level 2 in time or anytime soon for that matter. So we just need to stay safe. This build is extremely bad at farming under tower when you don't have uh, a pre-first back, that is. So ideally you want to back when you get a serrated Dirk in terms of gold. But, um, well, let's see how we do. I started W for the attack speed, so I can control the wave a little bit better. And also get a better leash for my jungler. And obviously wave control is not going to happen. Yeah, I can't get any of these. We're gonna sell back and the... Right, so I lost a couple minions. Now I got level 2, so we can start the harass with... We will be permashaft, so I don't think we need to be wary of ganks now. That hurt. I'm not using a potion quite yet. I will use one when I get my E up the next time, so I make use of the burn damage. Yeah, obviously we're hard losing this lane. For our first back. Harassing is also... this build is, has fallen out of favor because of this uh, whole... Um, biscuit... Hype by AD carries. At another point in E. So far so good. Barely have time to watch the minimap because it's so stressful to farm at a tower with this build. Apparently something's going on mid lane. Right, so far so good. I'm not too far behind in farm, could be way worse. This build is especially good with Morgana because you have a lot of power in your ultimate and Morgana sets up your ulti perfectly with her um, binding. It also E makes it easier for her to actually hit the binding. There's a gank. We have the Bronze Flash and the Lucian heals. We should not. Yeah, this is, is a little bit overextended here. After we got the summoners, we should have retreated. Try to get as many minions as possible. Fix. Shut 
Also level 6 they are quite dangerous as a dual lane. Gotta keep up the pressure. I also wouldn't mind going back in the near future so I get my corrupting stacks back and I also get my first AD item. Need to be wary of Lucian dash, obviously. We can let the wave push towards us because Lucian is pushing so heavily. No Morgana, this is too aggressive. I really need to back here, I cannot stay any longer. I don't have any mana, Morgana is low and... Oh no, I have Ocean Drake though. Maybe we get this. Yes, okay, that's good enough. I could have eat earlier to make it uh, easy for the Uder to catch up. Maybe I should have done this. It's quite a big slow already. 44% or something? Yeah, 44. Just gotta push this on the tower as soon as possible and fall. The sooner the, the wave crashes the tower, the better. So, um... Gotta get blocked by the incoming wave. That's the most important part. So the enemy misses as many minions as possible and also, um... We're making sure the wave bounces back towards our side of the lane. Right, Lucian now has lifesteal, which makes it pretty much impossible to harass him with E. This is way better against ADCs that don't have any form of regeneration. Um, however, in the current meta, everyone is buying Blade of the Ruined King. I think it's getting nerfed next patch, so this might uh, be better for this build. But, th but this E harass playstyle is very good against um, ADCs who don't buy lifesteal early on. It's still good, don't get me wrong, but it's it's not optimal in the current meta. As I've told you, it has fallen out of favor. You can still play it, definitely. It's still pretty strong. Did a lot of damage with her ulti there. It was a 3v3, but they had no chance of, at fighting in my ulti, so they needed to dis disengage and they even lost the fight. With Ocean Drake, this build is just brutal. I, they really have... Um, I have all the resources I need and they... I don't... Well, um, it boils down to um, that I cannot get Oom, right? I have my potion, I have a mana flow band, I have Ocean Drake. With Ocean Drake especially, this build is just devastating. Yeah, like to heal. I couldn't do much for the Morgana there. Especially with the Lucian Heal. I need to let this tower fall, there's no chance. Or is there? If Brom takes minion aggro or tower aggro, then okay. 
I decided not to dive because I got Braum low enough. That was my plan, obviously. And now I messed up. Ah, goodness. Yeah, uh, I played this fine when they tried to dive me, but then afterwards I uh, got too close to the Lucian. Way too close. Nice, but the Braum might die anyway. Maybe even both of them if Zed plays this. Okay, Lucian probably gets away. Both get away. Oh, that's frustrating. Ha, <sighs> happens. Alright, so I got my first item, so let's talk about the build. It's very important that you stack as much lethality as possible, so this would be a full build. Uh, even this as your last item, just just a serrated dirk, it's it's pretty much a full a worth a full item if you have all the other lethality items because lethality gets better the more you um, the more lethality you get because armor gets more important the lower your armor value is. So this is exactly why this build works, and it puts as much power in your ulti as possible. If the next binding Morgana lands is pretty much a kill, even against Braum, maybe. Next Drake is Infernal. Gotta keep the Braum low. Tank support without HP is not worth anything. Nice. He's already um, down to 60% health. Just to my E and my Arcan Comet. Oh no, I'm so dead. I can't ult either, because he can just run circles around me. Again, I came too close to the Lucian, which killed me in the end. So against them, I might... Um, we can always go Swifties with this build, but against them, I might actually go for... Ninja Tabby. Oh, I forgot to... Embrace my new habit of mutant all. But yeah, that's the problem. If Lucian gets to your face, you uh, you can't really do anything. I tried to ult just for a little bit of damage, but he immediately ran around me, as you saw. That's fine. You don't need kills with this build. You get you pretty much get farm for free because your E is a very good source of wave clear when you max it first, and um, you can push quite fast with this build. For that matter. As long as you get your farm, everything's fine. Yeah, Lucian was looking for it again. Be very careful. If I overstep once, I'm, I'm dead. Can't even get to experience range for that one. That's just how, how hard they zone me. Right now with Morgana, I can play a little bit more... Um... Oh, she wasted her binding. If she wastes her binding, I cannot walk up anyway. Keep that in mind. Gonna waste the binding again. Woke up. Yeah, I cannot farm right now because Morgana screws up everything. I woke up there, I die, and she just is way too loose with her bindings. Fires them at will. I really need the threat of her binding to be able to do something. Oh, I messed that up so hard. I thought I could auto queue it, but my queue was still in cooldown. That was a very eager flash. Yeah, against Braum it's a little bit more difficult because he can block so much damage with his um, stupid ability, but we still got summoners out of them. Morgana's flash was definitely a mistake. 
the exchange was still okay for us. Morgana cancelled her Ocean Drake. If we don't let them back, that's also fine. Lucian cannot really use his lifesteal effectively when he's pushed under- Oh, that's, that gank is way too early. We need to push in the way first. Still was so dumb of the Zed. We cannot help him if the wave is not pushed in. That's just extremely dumb of him. And I didn't watch my minimap, which cost me my flash. That's the power of Emacs. The slow is so oppressive. Without it, I would have definitely been dove by those three. They played this very poorly, though. They still would have died, probably, even if they got me. Now we're looking good, though. They wasted so many resources on bot lane and still died for it, and didn't respond to top lane uh, Rift Herald. Now they need to respond, which means I can take bot tower and we can take infernal probably. Alright, Lucian is there. So is Lee Sin. I have ulti in 15. So now we can take it, probably. I still don't like it with the jungler being there. Be very careful. We would have been closer. She whiffed. <laughs> Alright, macro mistakes from my team cost us the second infernal as well. That was extremely poorly played by them. They should have never started infernal when Lee Sin is around. They were too impatient though. Shouldn't stay here. Didn't you respond to top uh, to bot lane anyway? So we can out rotate them now. And Lucian's getting Matoa for free for some reason. Oh, okay, he dies for it. Okay. It's also a lot of unclaimed farm top lane. Right, hacker is going. I take wolves here. I need some more farm for my items. At 1600 gold, it would be perfect for me to go back because I can get another serrated duck. Alright, so just take Romp. It's fine. I don't need to kite or anything, I go back anyway.
what up the jungle entrance is. Alright, now we should try to pressure the um, mid turret. Because of the Baron area. We, we, right now we have the advantage, but if we go super late game with double infernal, they just crush us. Can't move through uh, through the river without dying. Risky. And in mid lane, yeah, we, we just collapse on the Braum here. From flash, this is lurking there as well. Are we actually chasing this? I'm not sure. Also, we have an unchecked Camille top lane. I'm not a fan of. I cannot respond to her anyway. You can solo me under tower, so if I go, we gain nothing. We lose so much farm in the top lane, it's unreal. Right. I'm too low to do anything major. Try to secure the scuttle crab at least while I could. At the same time, try to intervene with my 20% HP. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just. Uh, Took, uh, I should have taken this scuttle crap. But I could. There's no way I could help in this fight anymore after eating all that damage plus ignite. It's dragons another ocean, that doesn't matter too much. Ocean's nice in the lane phase, but apart from that, it's not that useful. Uh, I think my control ward is better in the jungle entrance than outside. I've also seen a few seconds, so maybe we can do something. I also have enough money for pickaxe, which is a good amount of AD. Shouldn't force this Ocean Drake. It's not worth dying for. It's also not worth risking them getting it for free. So at least it's still that far away. Okay, perfect. I can't face check her. I'm dead. It was so dumb of me, I shouldn't have went there. Should have helped the hacker and chase down the Lee Sin. Without him, uh, without his protection, without his peel, Camille just beats me alive. We got her in the end, but um, I died for no reason. I really want Edge of Night. Well, last Whisper item, so Lord Dominic's regards in this game, would be more damage, but the Edge of Night um, protects me while I ulti with this active. 
is the most important thing right now. I need to get good ults off. Nice. Okay, that's that might be Baron. Camille's alive now. I don't have a ward ready, so I cannot provide vision there without... Uh, well, I could go for an E, but that's not worth it. Alright, I got my edge of night now. This is a huge, huge power spike. I don't really need to control ward at this point, because there's no objective on the map that we need to control. As long as we don't hard engage, uh, this split here is fine. Right. Not sure if this Zed needed me, but better safe than sorry. I definitely won't stay bot lane. It's not worth I'm I'm, I'm way too important in team fights to be going alone. And way too vulnerable without any teammates. Right, this tower is free. The hard engage here? I don't think so. Just stay a little bit farther in the back so I can respond to anything in time with my Edge of Night. Morgana gets good bindings off here though. Still, as long as we just apply pressure with supers, everything is Gucci. No, it's 4v5 though. Oh, so close. Had this, had this binding landed, I'd have done so much into retreat now. I tried to chase into my ulti, which is obviously a huge mistake. Even it's the only one alive right now, we can probably do this, yeah. Okay. This should be game. The Thalanty works on towers, so I do a lot of damage to them. Right. Alright, we got there in the end. A uh, few slip-ups in the mid-game. I got caught out of position by Camille, and also I, um, or we lost two Infernals, which is obviously quite bad, but apart from that, I think I played this rather well. Uh, but yeah, this build is, um, it is pretty strong, but uh, as I've told you, it has fallen out of favor, because uh, almost every AD carry goes for Blade of the Wind King first, which is early lifesteal and also has Biscuits in the secondary tree, which uh, obviously is very good against Taras. Uh, who, do, who do I honor? I think... I think the... Um, Zed did quite well. Right, sitting at 44 LP right now. Or my Smurf, by the way. And let's look at the damage. Yeah, it's quite decent. I didn't get all the kills, but I had a lot of impact in team fights with my ulti. But this is really the key to playing this build. You need to get, uh, you need to stay in position to get good ults off because that's, um, well, you do have great damage with your Q and your laugh tap, but uh, those don't refresh as uh, often, and you are very much reliant on your ulti in team fights. So if you want to play an old heavy misfortune build, this is a build you can go for. I can come with Mana Flow Band, Absolute Focus, Gathering Storm with Cheap Shot and Ultimate Hunter, and uh, with full lethality for your item build. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, and maybe this helps you when you um, want to play the build I analyzed yesterday. 
in my viewer game analysis. And if you want more misfortune content, there should be more on the screen right now, so feel free to click on it. And uh, well, tomorrow I will show you another variation of this build um, that does not rely on corrupting potions. So stay tuned for that and see you next time. Bye.